Oh, how are you recording? Good day, everyone. My name is Muiwa Omotara Chosen, and I am so happy to have you here on my YouTube channel. This is a channel where you can get a lot of gospel content, a lot of content ranging from inspirational movies, skits, lectures, spoken words, and many more. Oh, wait now. I know you are in a hurry to watch that new content. But before you go, if you are just joining us on this YouTube channel, if you are just visiting this YouTube channel for the first time, kindly perform these three tasks. Click on the subscribe button down there and there's a bell beside that button. That's a notification bell. Click on it to always notify you whenever we drop any of this gospel content. And always like our videos. That will make YouTube to recommend our videos to other people out there. Thank you. I know you will do that. God bless you. Bye-bye. find it so enjoyable embarrassing me come on this is not the lover i got married to you have changed almost everything about you have changed i i i don't understand you lost your job just because of the same temperament when will you stop this your shameless crazy and barbaric act of yours why is it i was sorry sorry my foot and i'm even still sorry i i, I don't know what came over me after all, I've apologized to him. Why are you reminding me of my past? It's no fair. Sorry. So, sorry. I'm sorry. So, 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 sorry every time. As usual. Sorry. This, today. Sorry. Tomorrow. Sorry. I, 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 I can't even get my mind off what you did today. It's irritating. It's embarrassing. So you are here again with your shameless heart. I'm telling you something. So you no, 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 excuse what? me. Please, what's going on here? You guys are disturbing the peace of this supermarket. This woman slapped me because I mistakenly stepped on her and I apologized. Excuse me, I slapped you because you intentionally stepped on me. Please, don't forget that fact. Really? Really? Madam, excuse me. Is this saying the truth? It's not. What's, what's going on here? Manager, please, uh, uh, we're we very sorry. Uh, Mr. Man, uh, I'm very sorry for what's happened just now. Uh, uh, please, don't so, be offended. Madam, <laughs> what you did is bad and uncalled for. You don't even know who this man is. I mean, what if he's a military man? <laughs> Do you know what you might have put yourself in through by now? Oh no, sir, I'm very sorry for any inconveniences. I apologize. I'm so sorry. Why is everybody apologizing to this man? He's obviously wrong. He's wrong for stepping on me. Shut up! I'm not up here. I'm, oh my God. For you. I'm, I'm sorry. Love it. Can you see what you just cost? You are embarrassing me in here. Why are you supposed to take sense? What am I supposed to 
death mouth. Tell her that you also slapped me with that face. And he was wrong. He was wrong. He was wrong. Shameless woman. Wait, I'm I am tired. I don't even know what else to do. Our case is getting worse and worse every day. You won't believe I was disgraced at the supermarket a few days ago. All because of our nonchalant attitude. Uh, Mr. Benedict, um, you see, um, actually this is very, very serious. I'm very sorry, but what exactly have you done? I mean, what are you doing to this case? I have done a lot. Okay. I have prayed. I have <laughs> spoken to her. I even went as far as reporting her to her parents. Yes, I see no changes. <laughs> and were those things all you did? Well, uh, well do you have any suggestion? <laughs> Come off it. You see, Mr. Benedict, I do not only have suggestions, but I have the solutions to your plight. Really? The solution? Yes. Please, what is the solution? I am ready to do anything. Are you sure? Yes. Well, actually, you know, I know of a man. You see, this man has the solution you are looking for. Once we get to this man, your problem is solved. A man? Yes, uh, but he's actually a traditionalist. What? So, 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 a traditionalist? So, <laughs> you have been visiting a traditional... Ah, what is this word turning into? Stop ranting and keep short. See, you are the one in the problem. I am the one trying to help. My help comes from God, not from any man. Ha! Ah. Prochego, you have backslid. I can't believe you have been patronizing a traditionalist of a thing. Hey, look at Mr. Benedict. That is not the point here. That's not the point. Oh. You see, I had a problem at a particular point of my life. And I told my friend about it. Hmm. So this friend of mine introduced this man to me. And guess what? The man solved my problem. Hey, bro Shegun. You need deliverance. <laughs> A serious one. <laughs> Mr. Benedict, stop the prank. You are the one who need the deliverance. Here. Because the last time I checked, you are the one with the problem. I have the solution. It is you and that your wife at home that need deliverance. I'm just trying to help. So stop the pretense. I can't even believe what I'm hearing right now. I can't believe it. Ha! Huh? Christian brother. Benedict, what is it? What are you doing here? What are you doing with my pot? I want to check the kitchen to find something to eat. And I make the pot empty. My pot cannot be empty. I what? cooked before. I... I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't know I turned off the gas. You didn't know you turned off the gas? And you left the pot empty on the gas? I'm sorry now. Can't I make mistake? Let me go and fix something to eat. I'm sorry. Wait for me. I'm coming. What? <sighs> Abba, this is my friend. The one I no, told you about. Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Baba. Oh, oh, what is your name? Me? I'm a dean Beleni. Are you not the one with problem here? Baba, ba, please, I'm very, very sorry. I'm happy with you, please. But this was your problem. What's your problem? You are the one with the problem. He is the one with the solution. Whatever, what shall I ask from you? You answer. Baba, I'm very sorry. It's okay now. <laughs> um, I'm Benedict. Oh, you will focus. It's the left. Don't just lay. Let's get straight to business. See, your friend here has. Explain your issue with me. But before anything, let us consult the oracle. Why you are going to go to the oracle? You are going to go to the oracle. You are going to go to the oracle. You are going to go to the Ah! What is the problem? You have never disappointed me before. 
Benedict, or what is your name? Benedict. <laughs> see, I think there is nothing wrong with your wife. You see, I said it. I don't want to follow you to this place at fourth place. Oh, 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 all this abolish of a thing, be a scam. Hey, all power belongs to Jesus. Mm. Why don't you ask your Jesus for help before coming to me? Ah. Baba, please, don't mind him. He doesn't know what he's saying, Baba. He is under attack. His hope is under attack. He's the one with the problem. You are the one with the solution. Baba, please, I'm very, very sorry. Enjoy. Please, brush it, boom. So, are you using your mouth to beg ordinary man? Now, you are begging your daughter with your mouth. And you will still use this same mouth to pray in church. If you have been charmed, me, oh, I have not charmed, though. Have you forgotten what the Bible says? The sorrow of those who follow other gods shall be many. Ah, and you call yourself a Christian. See, if you want to follow me back, me, I am out of here. Mm. Ah! Baba, please. Omade Lunche, he doesn't know what he's doing, Baba. Please, such will so not happen again. Koni Shelemo. I only wanted to help. You know, I'm very sorry. I'm very, very sorry. Please, I promise. I'm very sorry. Ah! Sister Lovitz, I am sure by now you should have prayed about it. I have prayed times without number, and the Lord is still positive about this relationship. So, what caused the delay? Brother Ben, I don't, I don't even know how to say it. Just... You, you don't know how to say what? Just say it anyhow. I, I will understand. You just have to accept it, whichever way it comes. I, 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 I accept what? I don't understand. You're scaring me. You know, you told me about your convictions. Yes. So I, I decided to also pray about it. Yeah, sure, to be sure you should what God pray. is saying. Yes. And and the, the monarch of Zion. What, what did the monarch of Zion say? I'm sorry. He he said yes. <laughs> what? <laughs> he said yes! Oh, give me. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I don't supposed to do that. I'm sorry. Come again. Ah, he said yes. 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 <laughs> I am the most happiest man on earth right know, now. I know. So it's a yes. It's a yes. You are mine ah. forever. This is becoming the award. When are we starting the marriage preparation, the We're wedding, everything? You yes, sure. take back my yes. I'll you take can't take that back. It has been set to spiritually already. <laughs> <laughs> and so when are we starting the wedding preparation? We are going to use the biggest oh, hall in town, called the famous musician in town. We we'll we'll won't step at the time now, please. Ah, ah. Yes, yes, you confirm this. But <sighs> why am I experiencing this in my marriage? Why? I, 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 I can't even walk freely without people pointing fingers at me. Like, look at her husband. <laughs> Why, Lord, please, do something about this issue, Lord. Please, I can't continue living like this. Ah, Lord, please help me. I'm tired of enduring this home. I want to enjoy it. I want to enjoy this marriage. Help me, Lord. At least, guys, you see, um, we can utilize this time to, to enjoy yeah. ourselves. Josh, you are on point. Because all work and no play makes Jack. <laughs> we guys really work so hard. Yeah, but what exactly are we doing now? So how are you doing now? How is work? Work is fine now. Yeah, well done, eh? Thank you. Please, can I get my dress? Yes, my elder daughter. Please, get it. Thank you. Are you doing a good job? I, I believe you are going to like the dress. Really? I trust. This is the first time now. Sure, sure. Hey. Ah, ah. Thank you. That's wow. what I'm saying. 
And he's like, don't understand what I said. I said my own clothes, as in my the one I brought. Maybe you should go yes, and check. This, this is your dress. No, this is not my own. <laughs> not for me. Madam, this is the dress you brought now. My eyes are working perfectly well. This is not my clothes. Uh -uh. This is your dress. <laughs> <laughs> and I was there when you chose this particular style. Why are you arguing? You are very stubborn. No? Why are you arguing with me? Madam, this is your clothes and this is the style you chose. It's like they did not teach you how to handle customer in your shop, Abby. You are yeah. so rude and mannerless. Hey, please, please don't girl. even insult me, madam. I repeat, don't insult me. You're this uncultured woman who lack manners and don't even know how to Are you talking to me like that? Jesus! Where are we? Oh, we're Hello, ma. How are you? Yeah, why go? Yeah, all is going on well, ma. What's the problem? No, 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 no. I want you to come and see me. Alright, alright. I will check on you this weekend by God's grace. Yes, it's important because we have to discuss. There's something I want us to talk about. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay. I'll be expecting you. My regards to your wife. Alright, bye. Uh, um, Benedict, what's the problem? Ah, uh, I'm sorry, it's my mom. She needs to see me, so I have to check on her this weekend. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Don't you dare insult me like that again. I can't hear this nonsense from you. Ah, you dare lay your filthy hands on me. This is the style. The woman apprentice. I will show you today. You will see. You will see. So, can we go now? Oh, sorry. My wife. <laughs> well, I love her. We'll get wife. <laughs> like, like, seriously. Hello. Benedict, where are you? Please, you have to come now, now. Leave what you are doing and come now. I'm in the office. What is the problem? Where are you? Where are you now? I'm at Mama City's shop. Okay, just hold on, please. Don't cause any trouble. I'll be there with you now. I'll be there. Please, just hold on. Okay, yes, I'm coming. Guys, calm down, calm down, calm down. Hope all is well. I just hope it's not what I'm thinking. Guys, take it. It's okay, take it. Alright, I'll, I'll see you guys later, please. I'll see you guys later. Alright. Later, guys. Uh, uh, this, this guy is really going through a lot recently. Why I love get wife. You see, Shegun. Ben is really passing through a lot. In this early stage of his life, marriage. Like, I mean, you should be praying for him. I really pity him. Prayer, you see? See, let me tell you the real truth. I'm really, really concerned. And you know what? What? You know what? What's that? For myself, I'm concerned for myself because at this marriage of a thing, I'm really, really scared about it. I'm scared of getting married. Ah! <laughs> Seeing this guy going through a lot in the early years of his marriage, ah, it's scary. You're serious about what? The issues with marriage. Look at what he's going through. I'm really, really scared. And that's it. That's the truth. I'm serious about it. Ah, share with me. Let's, let's go, Joe. I beg. Ah, you're not serious. Yeah. You. I said my own shot. Please, I'm famished. Let's go and get something. Oh my. Good. What is going on here? Thank God you are back. Love it. What is going on? Oh, that, this that, stupid girl. Oh this mannerless idiot. Yes, yes, lay your hand on me. This mannerless idiot. Yes. Can you imagine your wife? She bought this particular cloth and chose this tie. And she claims she didn't choose it. All right, madam. I'm very sorry. Uh, I'll take full responsibility of everything. Love it. Please, let's leave here now. See, oh, that's what you should be saying. You know what I will tell you? Better train this your uncultured wife. What? Train her and teach her how to talk to people. Because there are some set of people she will talk to and she will not go scot free. What's nonsense? And the one you are talking to her, Love it. And what you need to do? Okay. Can you see you cause all this embarrassment? Let's move. I said move! I'll come back for you. This is not the end. I'm coming back. Yes, let's go. You can't do anything. Mom, I am fed up. Totally fed up. You know. I can't even think straight anymore. I have tried my best and it's not working. This is really affecting me. It's affecting everything about me. It's affecting my work. It's affecting everything. Oh. You're not my wife as a troublesome woman. Oh, really? <sighs> so what have you been doing about it? What have I been doing about it? I have tried my best. I've prayed. I've fasted. Yet, there are no changes. You prayed? Yes. Don't you know that you are yet to pray until you pray through? That is just. Remember, son, that before you married, love it, you prayed. And you got that confirmation from God that is your wife. I also did the same. So, what's going on? 
Don't you see that this is devil at work? Enemy is trying to scatter your marriage. Devil is right inside your home to put your home in desire. And you are sitting down telling me that love it is this, love it is that. You have to stand up as a man and defend your home. You need to put enemy to fight. Take this battle to the gate of your enemy. And make sure that you rescue your marriage from enemy. Huh? You can't just sit down. Have you forgotten what is written in the scripture? That the weapon of our warfare and all can. But mighty through the Lord to pull down stronghold. You need to defend your home through prayer. Don't just conclude that uh, she's stubborn. Do something about it. Huh. Thank you, mommy. Yeah. Thank you so much. I, I'm, I'm so grateful. I, maybe this is the reason why she has not conceived. Can someone be behaving like this and conceive? Can someone be behaving like this and conceive? No. There's a thing that told here in marriage. No, 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 no. Don't say that. Huh. What are you even saying? Have you forgotten that you are a Christian? Don't allow this to shake your faith, my dear. Have you forgotten what is written in the scripture? That for everything in life, there are times and seasons for everything. At God's own appointed time, your wife will conceive. Don't allow the devil to feed your head with lies. He's the father of all lies. It is written in the book of Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11. That I know the thoughts that I have towards you. The thought of good and not of evil. To give you good and expected end. God is at work. Don't be defeated in your mind. Your wife will give birth. So stop that. Tell the enemy to get out of your head. Don't tolerate nonsense from the devil. Thank you so much, Mom. Thank you so much for this word of comfort. Thank you for being a good mother you love to my wife. I'm only playing my role as a mother. Okay, my dear. The reason why I called you okay. is because of the same issue we've been discussing oh. all this while. Mom, if it's about this same issue, please, let's forget about it. I am not ready for it now. I am not ready. Please, let's forget about it. We can't forget about it. When will you have time? It's okay, Mom. It's okay. Just let's forget about it. When last have you heard from Dad? So you want to put that conversation apart just like that? Okay, you know your dad is a traveler. Today, my Duguri, tomorrow, Abuja, he has traveled. Well, no be today. So I believe you are coping. Yeah. Please, who will you have a tool? Trust me. <laughs> I've prepared your favorites. Really? So, after this conversation, we just move to the table. Which other conversation? We are done! <coughs> my food, please. We are done. Hey, so, Sister Abigail, yes. I brought to us. You should be fine. Should be fine. What yeah. it should be should be fine. How is it your talk? Yes, now it should be fine. Meanwhile, it's been a while that we discuss. Why? What happened? Why is why has it been a while? Has it not opened up to you yet? Yes, it hasn't. I think the Lord has not spoken to him yet. So, oh, why the delay? She just opened his eyes and see the vision. Absolutely. That's 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 oh, yes, sir. Excuse me, Sister Abigail. Please, All right, sir. Mr. Lover, I'd like to see. You. Oh, okay, sir. Yeah. So, Hello, Pastor. How are you doing? Oh, glory be to God. What? You don't mean it? It is pregnant. Ah, this is serious. Yes, I will be in the office. I will be expecting you and our parents. Thank you. What is this world turning to? What's the problem, sir? There is. I uh, just received a call from a branch at Bagbe Village that one of the church uh, teenager is pregnant. What? Teenager? How? How come? Who, who impregnated her? You see, the saddest story is that a teenager in the church impregnated her. Oh, oh my, my God! God. <laughs> that, ah. I, I think the church should look into this before it becomes worse. Seriously? Because this is not funny. It's a very delicate issue. Uh, yes, yes. Okay. Uh, yes, you are right. Actually, I've been praying about it. Most especially on the aspect of the teenager and the church. Um, we need somebody who can handle them spiritually. 
But um, God does not permit me. God said the one that you want to use for that job is not ready to receive the assignment. And he's not permitting me to get another pastor, you know? Yes, but I'm still praying about it. Something will be done very soon. Okay, sir. I just pray God will take control. Amen. Amen. Sister Lovett, I want you to work on your temperament. Seriously. You should be kind and calm. There's nothing good that anger can offer you. Anger can only destroy the whole lot of things. Let the life of Christ be in you. So please, work on your temperament. God will help you. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, sir. Hello, sir. What's the issue? It's well. Let's just be praying for me. I'll fall as well. Actually, I've been praying about it. God said the one that you want to use for that job is not ready to receive the assignment. But I'm still praying about it. Something will be done very soon. Okay, sir. I just pray God will take control. Amen. <laughs> that is just the bitter truth. Like, seriously. Uh -huh. that, that's funny. Bro. Exactly. In fact, I can't. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, Patricia. Oh, good afternoon. You're welcome. It's been a while, though. Sure, you've been avoiding us, Abby. Oh, why? Fine. <laughs> and all thanks to you for taking care of my pastor friend. Ah, ah, it's God that is taking care of him now. <laughs> yes. Uh, and that's true. The Lord will keep helping you. Amen. Ah, bro, Joshua, but you have not changed, though. Are you sure you can ever change? Well, thank you very much for thanking me. I was making something in the kitchen. So make yourself comfortable, and if you need anything at all, you know who to call, Abby. All right. I'll be back. No problem. All right, now. All right thank you. Well done. <laughs> thank you. So, as we were uh, uh, Bro, Benedict. What is that? I'm happy for you. With what I'm saying, I see that God is at work. What? I mean, your wife has drastically changed. Changed my foot. Just because she attended to you nicely today, she can change to anything within seconds. Ah, I'm telling you. That's serious. I, you don't mean it. That is just it. Oh. oh. I, I, wait, I, I'm done. Hmm. Benedict, what are you doing about it? Of course, I have tried my best. You know everything about my family. You are my friend. I have prayed. I have fasted. Yet, there are no changes. Okay, uh, and if that's the case, have you informed the pastor about it? Of course, yes. The pastor knows about everything happening in this family. He knows everything. It is just that I don't like going to him over and over again. Because of some issues he always discuss with me whenever he sees me, which I'm not pleased with. Oh. 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 And I understand. That's a vision. I bet like this. Please, you have to give this to me. Josh! Josh! Thank you. I understand everything. Thank you so much. You're my friend. Do you know what you can do for me? Keep praying for me. Always remember me in your secret place. Just keep interceding for me. That will go a long way. Benedict. Yeah. Can I ask you a straightforward question? Oh. Alright, go on. Are you seeing this as a demonic or spiritual attack? <laughs> of course. This is not normal. This is a spiritual attack. This was not how we started. Things were going on well with us a few months after we got married. But all of a sudden, everything just changed drastically. I, I, I can't even understand. I wonder those who are behind this. I, I, I know my wife. I know she is not a witch. And by the grace of God, those behind this, they shall soon be exposed. Are you see Benedict? Uh, uh, the way I'm saying it, um, it's what the Holy Spirit is revealing to me. I, I'm not seeing this as a spiritual attack. Really? You know what the Bible says? The Bible says, My people perish 
because they lack knowledge. You see, my brother, you need to understand some spiritual principles. Not all battles need prayers. So if you understand this principle, it will help you to apply them in solving these matters according to the words of God. <laughs> huh? Um, Joshua, thank you so much. I I really appreciate. In fact, I am blessed with your words. Uh, thank you for being a good friend. Thank you so much. Uh, what will I do without you? <laughs> thank you so much. Just keep praying for me. Hello, Folake. Please prepare the necessary document for the Abuja conference. And make sure you take the financial reports of the Sidua Days company so that we can just do the redress immediately. I will join you very soon. Hmm? All done. All right. Benedict, you are a bundle of headache and disappointment. Look at your report. Your financial report for the past three months has been a blog of loss to this company. I don't know what has actually come over you. What is your problem? I mean, I, I, I thought you understood your job description and you have been doing so well before until of late and you just I'm fed up. I'm sorry sir. I will cover up sir. You see I know what I should have done because I cannot just sit down here and watch you drag this company into bankruptcy. The CEO keeps complaining every now and then about the black locks of financial report that we sent to him by many. Hope you know that the success of this company Lies on my neck. Yes. You know, I'm going to give you another chance because of the premises of your, you know, previous uh, jobs and conduct. If not, you may lose a job right away. This is a last warning. Any time I see any discrepancy in the figures of your department either in terms of loss or in terms of um, errors. Uh, I'm sorry, it will not take me anything to print out your resignation. My printer, HP Office Jet, is still working so well. I'm very sorry, sir. Uh, uh, such will never repeat itself again, sir. And by God's grace, sir, I will definitely change. I hope that um, this I'm sorry is real. Yes, trust me, sir. Trust me. Yes, sir. 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 Oh, you know what? Um, please go to your office now and prepare the documents. Hannes, right, make these errors and resend to me yes, sir. before right, the close right, of the right, day. Right, Thank you, sir. Who are those people? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do I look like your mate or something? Oh my God! Repeat that. Repeat that mistake again, and I will slap you again. You don't mistake. You don't slap me like that. This is what started before. This is just very beginning. What is happening here? Oh my God! Sir, you can't believe this. I mistakenly stepped on her and she slapped me. What? She slapped you? Yes, sir. Who is she? What an insult. You slapped my pee here? S -s sir, I was just passing and she stepped on me. What's the meaning of that? And you slapped you... her because she mistakenly stepped on you? Uh, Who is this? Uh, tell you. Uh, uh, my name is Lovett. Lovett? Which Lovett? Who, who, who cares about Lovett? Benedict's wife. You mean the same Benedict in this company? Yes, yes, sir. Sir. yes sir. Mr. Joshua. Yes, sir. It's called Benedict for me now. Oh, all right. Nonsense! Yes, sir, I can explain what happened. That was Will you fact. shut up? What a recalcitrant attitude. I'm sorry. This is absolutely sir. unacceptable, implacable. I won't take it. Go Nonsense! Sir, I'm sorry. Benedict, come here. Love it. What are you doing? Keep shots. I called you. Who is this? She's my wife, sir. Oh, good. 
She just slapped the face of my pee and so she intentionally also slapped my face. My Bravo. insult. What are you doing in the first place? What are you doing? I don't understand. Oh God, please, I'm sorry. I don't know. All right, all right, all right. Uh, Mr. Joshua. Yes, sir. You should help me go to the notice board and put an inscription okay. there. And the description should read that we are looking for a new accounting officer uh -huh. in this company. Sir, oh, sir. you heard me. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Oh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, oh. Hello, keep short. Mm. And uh, um, you, Benedict, have uh, you know, have, uh, have tried to you know manage you all the while. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, your services are no longer needed in this company. Oh. This is the height of it. Sir, I'm supposed to that, so I can explain, please, sir. Sorry, sir. You shut up. Uh, Joshua, you heard me? Yes, yes, sir. If you need your job in this company. You do that right away. Ah, yes, sir. Let's go. Ah, oh, God, I'm sorry. 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 Oh, God, I'm you mean you don't know what happened just now? Look into my face. I'm your husband and tell me you know what happened. Do you know what is best for you? Go home now and pack your belongings and leave my house immediately. I mean it. If I force you, Oga, Oga, please. Wait, wait, wait. Why do you have to slap? Why do you have to slap her? You lack home training, and that's your problem. Hey, hey, hey. Something wrong with this one. What, what's the meaning of that one? Please, please, hold on, because I'm begging you to help me beg him. You're here yeah, ranting. Please forget it, Jorek. Uh, but then it's come back here. What do you mean by how to go and pack my things? Come here. What? Don't you bother, hear me. Ah, but you need to calm down now. You need to calm down. What should I do? You need to calm down. Benedict. Please, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. I, I, I can't, I, I don't even know what came over me. I'm so sorry, please. It, it's definitely the handiwork of the devil. I'm very sure. I, I know that we, 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 we all cast everything on the devil every time. Okay, okay, I promise. I promise to never repeat itself again. I now I am jobless, you are jobless, you're on the same page. See, you've not been talking to me since we got back. You've been using okay. Uh, sorry, we, I am Officer Francis from Selby Police Station. Uh, I'm sorry to disturb you, but we are looking for a man, Mr. Benedict. How uh, can we help you? Yeah. I am Mr. Benedict. Okay, Mr. Benedict, you're under arrest. Uh, 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 for what? What is that? What is my offense? Like that? You can't just walk into my house and take me out. Just like that. We find that way you get to the station. Mr. Benedict, please stand up. Officers, please, please, don't even you can. Let's talk about this. Mr. Mr. Benedict, please respect yourself and move. Mr. Benedict, whatever you say will be used against you in the locals. Please stand up. I don't have me now. I don't have me now. Okay, what? You should even explain something. Say something. What is what is your best? What is it? Please say something now. Where are you? Benedict, are you going? Ah, please don't go. Benedict, say something now. What is this bad call now? Oh God, this is my phone, this is my phone. Hey! What has he done again? Now what is the meaning of this, eh? What? Oh God. Hello? Hello, mommy. Hello, mommy. I'm not fine. Mommy, I'm not fine. Two policemen just came to the house to arrest my husband. What? Police arrest my son? For what? Ah, no, 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 no. No way. Which police station? And they said they have sideway police station, ma. Okay, I'm coming right away. Okay. Okay, mommy. I'll, 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 I'll follow them to now. Okay, ma. Hey, Benedict! Benedict! God! So this boy is a thief. Hmm. Ha! He rogue. Ha! My God. He cutted away with the company's 10 million naira. Hmm? Yes. I have informed the CEO. And he has told me that as a manager, I should make sure that he gets his money back. 
I will not take it kindly with that boy. Manager, huh? manager, manager, please. I know how you are feeling right now. Please calm down. 10 million. Everything will be all right. Please calm down. You. Yes, sir. Get in the criminal. Okay, sir. Um, please calm down. We know how to deal with this type. Come to think of it, sir. I so much love this boy. When he came to this company, I tried my best. I I, I, I recommended him to the CEO so that at least oh. he can be made the accountant officer of the company. I understand. I mean, what, 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 is this you? Is so this, this is how you really have. I don't understand, sir. I, I tried my best to help you in this company. Yes, sir. I recommend them to the CEO to be appointed as the account officer. Yes, sir. Is this how you want to pay me back? I mean, what has this company done for you to ruin this company? Oh, God. I, I, I don't understand what you are saying, sir. I don't understand. You, you don't understand. Can you imagine? I don't After stealing 10 million naira, you don't understand. Ah. Keep you. Huh. Sir, can you is still pretending? No, sir, I'm not like you. You took it. Oh, God, no, sir. You took the money. No, sir, no. I know, sir. Anja, please. No, no. Please. You no, can't sir. put the law into your hands. Sir. No, please. Calm down. Sorry, calm sir. down. Sir. All these things will allow us to do our job. Everything will be settled. You calm down. Please, you please can't calm imagine he's denying it. Oh, God. You don't understand me, sir. I can't steal your money. I can't do such. I know you will not confess. I know. It's not easy for a culprit to come out and say I'm a culprit. Yes, but by the down. time I'm through with you, you will see yourself. <laughs> Nonsense. Hey, deep you, sir. I appeal to you. Please do your job. Please. This culprit, <laughs> this criminal wearing white, <laughs> must not go scot free. Please give us the chance <laughs> to do our job. Manager, by the time we are through with people like him, it's time. Everything will be settled. Please calm down and allow us to do our job. <laughs> Give us the chance to do our job. You, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Take him back, please. Okay, sir. God, please. Oh. God, please. Go back to where you belong. Go back, back to where you belong. Sir, I appeal to you. I, I know that uh, it is a serious case. You know, when somebody has to steal, and it's very difficult to confess. But I appeal, the CEO will not take it easy with me because I actually recommended Benedict to the company. So please, help me. Let him cough out the money. I know he has not spent it. Maybe he kept it somewhere. Help me try your best so I can bring the money out. Mr. Manager, just give us this chance to do our job. I can promise you everything will be all right. 10 million Naira is not a joke. Hmm. It's not a joke. 10 million. 1, 2, 3, 4, 10 million. Ah. My dear, I strongly believe you. I have that conviction in my heart that you can't do this. You cannot be the one that steals this money. You don't steal. This is just a trial. And I want you to know that you will overcome this. Amen. You will overcome because Jesus has come guide for us. Sorry, Jay. Sorry. Just have it in mind that we are praying for you, okay? And trust me, I believe you. I know. I can vouch for you that you didn't take that 10 million naira. Please be strong. God will make a way for you out of this place in Jesus' name. Amen. Well. Amen. Thank you. Well. Thank you for believing in me. I really appreciate it. Thank you. And you know, mm. when life throws stones at you, mm. Use it to build something beautiful. Mm. When life over you lemon, mm. make lemonade out of it. In every maze, there is a message. I strongly believe that God is trying to pass a message across to you. There is something God wants you to know. There's something God wants you to grab with us. I want you to be more closer to God. Let your fellowship with God be more stronger and pass each day here with out of thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. I know that God will vindicate you Amen. because He has promised mm -hmm. that He will never leave you. Yes. Neither yes. will He forsake you. Yes. God is right here with you, my dear. Amen. You are coming up strong. Amen. Thank you so much. You will, my dear. Thank Please you don't dear. lose faith, okay? I know I'll be well. Just take a money and set your heart, okay? Don't trust me, sir. 
I don't sign for anything, million naira. I'm a Christian. I can't do such. I can't. Just believe me. Look at me. I pity you. If you spend just three days with me in this cell, trust me, you will not recognize yourself again. Christian, my foot. Are you telling me because you are a Christian, I should believe in whatever you say? Oh, yes. Have you forgotten? Judas, he was a treasurer of Jesus Christ. Oh. <laughs> and yet, he betrayed Jesus because of money. The love of money is the root of all evils. So don't tell me that because you are a Christian, I should not believe you. You know what's good for you? Just tell me the truth. And we will settle this case and make it believe. Okay, sir. Okay, officer. Just trust me. I'm ready to confess. I'm ready to say the truth. Yeah, I love people who cooperate with me. Now, I'm listening. Okay, sir. Since you said you will help me if I confess. Yes, but please, I want you to believe every word I say. I'm a worker in jail in this company. I hold the post of accounting officer. And I've been working with them for the past few years now. But something came up just a few days ago. I got sacked. Yes, I, I got sacked. Mm. But I didn't sign for any 10 million naira. Please, just believe. Believe me. I know nothing about it. Keep short. Keep short! Do you think I, I, I'm joking with you here? Yeah? No, sir. No. You better tell me the truth now. By the time I spend just one hour with you, uh, I will destroy you. I will remod you. Uh, 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 tell me the truth now. I have said all I know about this. I don't stand for that. Do you want me to lie against myself? Uh, please. Now I know that the only language you understand is this. Oh, Father Lord, please, please, we need your mercy. We need your mercy now more than ever before. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for the life of my son. Thank you for my son, Lord. Father, strengthen him. Help him. Visit him where he is right now. In your mercy, please arise for my husband. Please, Lord. Deliver him from the snare of the fowlers. Raise help for my home, Lord. Vindicate him. Let your mercy prevail over judgment. Have mercy on my son, Lord. Have mercy on him. Please set him free. You are the all-knowing God. You are the merciful God. I call on you now more than ever, Lord, please. If you are just visiting this YouTube channel for the first time, kindly perform these three tasks. Click on the subscribe button down there and there's a bell beside that button. That's a notification bell. Click on it to always notify you whenever we drop any of this gospel content. And always like our videos. That will make YouTube to recommend our videos to other people out there. Thank you. I know you will do that. God bless you. Bye-bye. Uh, Josh, this is you of Benedict. I, I must confess, I, I don't understand. Because, you know, at first we thought it was his wife that was giving him problems, which we were all aware, you know, about his marita hula balu. But presently now, he's being faced with another serious life issue. A very serious one. I don't understand. You see, I, I just think this guy needs serious prayers of deliverance. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, you see, uh, Shegun, I, I understand. Hmm. You understand? What exactly do you understand about this? What? Shall sure, you believe me for once? I, I said I understand. I understand everything is possible. Really? Yeah. Uh -huh. Who are you? Are you 
come with the officer here? <laughs> why, why are you just laughing? Benedict, how long will you run from the assignment being given to you? When will you stop running from the responsibility being given to you? When will you stop chasing your shadow? When will you wake from your sleep? When will you rise up to answer my call? Huh. Ah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I called you to wait for me in my life. But you refuse. Your generation are weeping. People that I send you to, they have been misled. People that I sent you to, they are vanishing away. When will you wake up to carry your cross and follow me? <coughs> Please have mercy on me. I am sorry. I'm sorry. I permitted all that has been happening to you in your family so that you can learn and draw closer to me. Mm. I've been trying to talk to you, but you keep pushing me away. But remember my word, I will never give you a temptation that will have all your capacity. I sent my servants to you, which is a pastor. But you keep avoiding me. I sent your mother, even the lady you met at the roadside. But you keep avoiding them. When will you rise up to carry your cross and follow me? Have mercy on me. I am ready to carry my cross. All I ask for is that you give me one more chance. I know I have wasted a lot of time, but I am ready. I am ready to carry my cross. You said in your word that you shall restore the years that the locust and cancer have eaten. Yes, I have wasted those years, but now I am ready. And you said your mercy prevails over judgment. Please. Yes. I will have mercy on you, but you need to start over where I have called you six years ago. Yes, I will. I will start over. I will, I will start over. Go and meet my servant, which is your pastor. Yes. I will preach it through. Uh, thank you for accepting me back. Thank you so much. Uh, yes, I will. Uh, yes, I will. Yes, I will. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you for your mercy. Oh, yes, I will start over. Thank you for giving me another chance. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for another chance. Oh, thank you, Lord. What is the problem? I couldn't hear you clearly on the phone. Where is he? Who is that? Benedict, of course. He's in the cell. Please bring him out. I need to see him. Bossa, uh, hope everything is all right. Mm. Just bring him. I need to see him. Hello? Bring in Benedict. Sir. Yes, sir. Are you all right? Um, yes. Everything is all right. I just need to see him. I just need to. Oh, manager. Oh, Benedict. Sir. So sorry. They must have treated you so badly. It's written all over you. I'm very sorry. Ah, sir. We thank God. The reveal of secret. The truth is, you are leaving this station today. Ah, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Manager. Are you alright? Do you know what you are saying? We are talking about 10 million naira here. I know what I'm saying, sir. I know what I'm saying. I'm saying that 
this guy has to be released today. I, I know what I saw. Then I, I know what I've had too. What did you see, sir? Oh, let's just ignore what I saw. Oh. Sir, you need to arrest another set of culprits. Because um, my PA and some other staff has eventually confessed. My PA herself confessed to me that she collaborated with some members of staffers to steal that money. Oh. And she did that just to implicate him for what his wife did to him. What? Are you sure what you're saying? Very sure, damn sure. So you ah. see that he has to be released. Ah, thank you, Jesus. Who oh, am I that you are so mindful of? Alright. Okay. Jesus. <clears throat> Thank you, Jesus. Hello? Arrange two of your men. You are following the manager right away. Yeah. To arrest two other criminals. Mm. Right now. Ah. Thank you very much, sir. Ah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. And you, Benedict. Congratulations. You better hold on very well to that God that you are serving. Mm -hmm. I can see that He loves you very well. So much. What? Oh my God. Benedict. How, how come? Ah, uh ah. -uh. Have your seat, have your seat. Sorry. Ah, this is. Surprising. How? How? What happened? Wait, wait, let me even call mommy. This is so strange. Ah, ah. Are you? Hey, Jesus. Hello, mommy. Oh, mommy, guess what? Hey, Benedict is back. My husband is back. Yes, ma. Okay, okay. Oh, my God. What happened? Tell me how did it happen? Oh, dear. Hmm? It is God. I, I can't even explain, but just let's keep appreciating ah, God for his mercy. Hey, thank you, Jesus. Ah, thank you, Lord. You're so God. merciful. I'm so happy to see you, dear. Happy ah, to see you, too. And, and I'm really sorry, my dear. I'm so, I'm so, I'm so sorry. Please just find a place in your heart to forgive me. I know I've not been a good wife, and I promise to change and be better for us. Oh, uh, love it. Just stand up, stand up. I've uh, forgiven you since. I've uh, forgiven you. It's just that um, I have some things to discuss with you. What, what is that? <sighs> what is it now? Jesus came to visit me in the cell. I saw him. I don't, I don't understand. What, what do you mean by that? <sighs> he, he has been calling me to work for him, which I have been neglecting his call. But this time around, I, I can't help myself than to just do whatever he wants me to do. Brad Benedict, the revelation you saw was so powerful. Very real. <coughs> uh, this is a great assignment ahead of you. Jesus wants to use you. He's so mindful of you. I think you should be happy out of many people he chose to use you. But, how, sir? I have been useful for him in the church. I served him with my whole heart. So, I do a lot for him in the church which you can also testify to as my pastor. So, where, where is this calling coming from? Yes, I understand. But this time around, it's an higher calling, which you need to receive happily. All right, sir. Uh, I think I understand you now. But, sir, I don't plan to become a pastor. I just want to serve him like a normal person will do. I'd be fine. I'm not ready for this, sir. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not ready for this. No one is always ready to do his work. In 
that it comes when you don't expect. I want you to know something. You should be happy for him to be calling you when you are still youth, when you still have energy and strength to do his work. You are Benedict. Think and pray about it. I hope God will reveal everything. I mean, He will give you better understanding and clearer vision about what to do. All right, sir. Um, thank you so much, sir. I really appreciate this. Thank you, sir. Okay. I'll, I'll do as you have said. It is well with you. Um, I would like to take my leave now. Sure. Alright, I'll, I'll, I'll get back to you. Please, can I have a one with you? Alright, no problem. I'm very sure you don't know me. And I don't know you either. Yes, thank you. As I was passing by, the Holy Spirit put a word into my heart. Yes. Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5 says, Before I formed you, I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart. I appointed you as the prophet of the nation. While John chapter 9 verse 4 says, I will do the work of him who sent me. Why it is day? Night is coming when no man can walk. This is getting more serious than I thought. I don't even understand anymore. All this issue of calling today, calling tomorrow, dreams upon dreams, different messages from different set of people. And me, I don't have time for this. I don't have a dream of becoming a pastor, but a chartered accountant. <laughs> Benedict. Yes. You know, the ways of God is different from the ways of man. I, I think you need to yield to this calling. Huh. Because of the great assignment God said He has for you. Oh, yes. You again? Okay, thank you. Uh, you just don't worry, don't worry. Uh, maybe whenever I'm ready. But for now, I still have a lot of things to achieve. But wait, where do you want me to put all these five years of labor in the university? Where? My dream is to become a chartered accountant of a big company. Any good morning. Not a pastor or what you call it. But you see my brother, that is the reason why you need to seek the face of the Lord to know what God wants you to do as regards this calling of yours. <sighs> you see, it's male or not affects your academics or your dreams. <laughs> but one thing I know, which of course I'm very sure of, is that all this thing is still for your benefit. Wait, uh, what about you? The last time I checked, you are more spiritual than I do. So why is God not calling you? Why me? <laughs> now you see my friend, I'm not running away from God's call. If God calls me today, I'm going to eat. I have no choice. Who am I? What's my life if I cannot fulfill what God has sent me to do? So if He calls me now, I'm ready. Then this thing is simple. Let's do trade by butter. The Lord has not called you now. Please, I want to sell this calling to you. Buy it. See, just I want to live my normal life. Sell it. I see Benedict, sir. <laughs> Benedict. Yes. All these stories you have narrated now, I, oh. <laughs> I hope it's not what I'm thinking. <sighs> Whatever you are thinking is right. Jesus came to me in the cell. He gave me another chance. And I am ready and mm -hmm. willing to do whatever he asks me to do. No, no, no. You must be joking. Benedict, you must be joking now. It's joking Wait, here. Did you, did you lie to me? Because I can remember vividly. I told you that I cannot marry a pastor or be a pastor missus. I was not ready and I am still not ready. Or have you forgotten? Love it. Yeah? Do you see what I sent to you? Oh yes, I saw it. And have you started working on it? It's just remaining some finishing touches. When I'm done, I'll send it back to you. Wow, all right, yeah. that's good. Uh, please, do that yourself. Okay. Ah, anyway. That reminds me. I watched a program online yesterday 
they talked about you know marrying a pastor, being a clergy's wife, you know this and that. But I now want to ask you the same question, mm. just a question. Yeah, what question is that now? Like, um, can you marry a pastor, <laughs> or like someone who has a call of God? Capital no. See, I've never pictured myself marrying a pastor wow. or becoming a pastor's wife. Mm -hmm. So funny, but. If God calls me, ah, I will decline the call straight away. Besides, I'm in prayer department now, so I feel that's enough. At least I'm working for God. So, yeah, sure. besides, my, my desire, my utmost desire is to become a medical scientist. So, wow. to answer your question clearly, I cannot marry a pastor. Hmm. Wow, I love that. That was what I was expecting. Mm. Yeah, sure. Are you sure? Or is it what I am thinking? No, no I am sure. Wait, what are you thinking? Mm. Oh, wait, me? Me call? No, 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 no. God cannot call me. I don't even have that in my plan at all, at all. Ah, no, no, no. God cannot call me. So, you know what? Put your mind at rest. I know. Ah, it's just to be sure. So, maybe we should check again and again. Maybe we should check it, Jerry. Put your mind at rest. So, what is happening tomorrow? Tomorrow, there's nothing much. I just have some places to go tomorrow. Yeah, Alright, yeah. maybe I will call you in the evening. Oh, okay. Yeah, I will call you. I'll right. be expecting your call. So, how come? How come you are changing your words now? What changed? What happened? Uh, love it. <laughs> I am sorry I lied to you. There is there's nothing I can do about this issue. We just have to do what the Lord is calling us to do. Us? Wait, did I just hear you say us? Yes. Benedict, you're in this alone. Because I can remember very well, without mincing whether I said I was not ready to marry a pastor. And I am still not ready. So please, you, excuse me. Love, love it. Love, love it. It's calling you. I feel the spirit spread his wings wide. Glory be to God. I'm happy you are free now. The Lord is good all the time. In fact, I am also happy, sir. Cool. Because Jesus himself came to me mm -hmm. and he had mercy on me. Yeah. I, though he said I will have to start all over again, which I don't mind. <laughs> Starting over. <laughs> yes, my brother, the Holy Spirit has told me everything concerning your ministerial assignments. It is well with you. Amen. Amen. Uh, thank you so much, sir. But where will the Lord want me to start? Oh, yes. Uh, the Lord told me you will start your ministerial assignment at our branch in Bagby Village. <laughs> if I can hear you very clearly, sir. Bagby. Uh, yes, a village. Uh, the one that is next to us there. Uh, the street light. Uh, actually, it's under construction. <laughs> okay, sir. Okay, sir. Back, back me. That is what God wants you to do there. I mean, to lift up the branch. Go. You don't need to worry. You can decide to be living here in Ondo and be working at Bagby Village. But if you decide based on your decision, you mean we should pack to no, with if my you wife? If you decide. Okay, sir. It's all based on your decision. It's the Lord's work. <laughs> we will do it with joy, sir. Bra Benedict. Yes, sir. Do not fear. The God said, if you are willing and obedient, you shall eat the good fruit of the land. Hmm. That's true, sir. He said, it will always be with you. So, you don't need to worry, my brother. Smile, my brother. <laughs> yes, I'm smiling, sir, it as you can well see. You. Yeah, thank you so much, it sir. Is well with you. But, there's a little issue, sir. Okay. My, my, my wife. What about her? The, the issue is that she's not in support of my calling. She's just nagging on this issue. She's not in support. We are Benedict. Sir. Calm down. God will visit her. Amen. Let's continue praying for her. I will also call her and talk to her. 
Ah, thank you so much. I will really appreciate that, sir. Uh, thank you for being uh, there for me always. Thank Let's you for pray. not giving up on me. Uh, no problem. Shall we pray? Yes, sir. I'm just returning from the pastor. And he asked us to start a ministry from Bag Bay Village. See, si, see, si, Benedict, please, please, please. Whenever you want to talk about this issue, stop using the pronoun us. Ah, ah. What, what? I don't like it. I, I detest it. Besides, when God called your phone, it was you that answered the call, Abby. So why are you involving me? See, don't stress me today, please. I'm not in the mood. Besides, <laughs> ah, she be you see now. Hmm? Now you have accepted to take a call. Why, why, why are they telling you to go and start your ministerial work in a village? Why not in a city like Lagos, Portacourt, Abuja? Because you still manage the Why, why, wherever you just mentioned, why? See, this is just part of the reason why I can't marry a pastor. <laughs> but, obviously, you are eventually married one. Please, please, let that one carry his cross. But this cross cannot be carried alone. Remember, in most three, three, can two work together except they agree? No, and I don't see any agreement here. Then let us agree. Benedict, please, please, I would rather be alone on my lane than join you run your race in a village. What's that? I'm not made for that kind of life, I beg. What? Benedict, please, excuse me. Please. I should excuse you. Oh, God, please, set to this matter. Benedict. Benedict. Yes, dear. There's no food in the house. And hunger is everywhere. Please, I need some money to go to the market and get food stuff. No, please. At least, God see demand. You can see that I'm studying the word of God. You should have at least allow me to finish. I'm sorry. Please give me money. Please. Money? Yes. I don't have any money on me now. The last money I have with me is what I gave you yesterday. Bennett, this is it all. This is it all. We've not even used up to a month in this your so-called work of God. And we're already hungry. Please tell me, is this how we'll be living from your church salary every day? Tell me, is this, is this it? But you don't have to talk this way. The Lord who called us into this ministry, who provide all our needs according to his riches and glory. Us again. Oh. Benedict, us, I told you, I don't like that pronoun. I don't like it. See, you better get up. Go out there and get a job. Ah. Yes, if you want us to live peacefully in this house, go there and get a job. Do you understand me? Good. Love it. Please. Ah. You guys should exercise patience. We have to settle this place. No, Sister Joy. We need to settle everything today. Yeah. How could she be talking yeah. to me like that? What, what do you mean by that? <laughs> and who are you, by the way? You don't know more Am than I that. Mate? You don't know more than that. Oh. No, See, no, let me no. tell you the bitter truth. You need to find something to do to this your ego and temperament before I launch into somewhere you don't want. Please, please, sister. Let's settle this. <laughs> we can settle this amicably. <laughs> we are in church for goodness sake. Abi, no. uh, Pastor must know here what we are doing. I am not your mate. And if you it's try me one more time, if you dare me, what will you do? Oh, no! Jesus! Jesus! Hey. Jesus for what? Hey. So much. <laughs> so she she should be the one you are talking to, not me. Sister Love it. What is what? all this? If you push me, hey. 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 I will slap anybody. Hey. Oh my God. I beg, hey. I'm going. Oh God. Please, I'm going. Hey. I'm going. I'm going. This what woman. I'm very sorry, sir. I don't know what you're over me. I don't, sir. Sister Ruth, please. I didn't know it would happen this way. I'm so sorry, please. Please, I'm sorry. Hello, Bra Benedict. Please, where are you? Oh, you're on your way. Oh, please, hurry up. Uh, there's a nation on ground that I want you to be part of. Daddy, please, I'm sorry, sir. Sorry, please. Please, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't know what okay. came Oh, what is the problem? 
Thank God you are here. <laughs> Love it. Ah. Sister Ruth. Your wife slept, Sister Ruth. What? Again? But I thought it was over. You? Uh, please calm down. You know, there is nothing hidden in God's face. So, um, please let's bow our heads. Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, we thank you. We appreciate you for your mercy. We appreciate you for your love. Father, receive our thanks in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, reveal to us what is hidden from us. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Sister Lovett. Sir. What are you hiding from your husband? The Holy Spirit ministered to me that you have a hand in what is happening to you in your family. What are you keeping away from him? You heard the pastor! So speak up now, let us set ourselves free from all this mess! I am tired! Hey, Sister Peace, what were you saying on the phone? I couldn't hear you clearly. Um, Sister Lovett, I saw a revelation concerning you yesterday night. It's really... A revelation? What, what was it about? Well, in that revelation, I saw you on the altar. You were ministering. Then after the administration, we started sharing gifts to the youths. Yeah, that was all I saw. Altar. And I was giving gifts to the youths. What, what does that mean? When I woke up, I prayed about it. Okay. And the Holy Spirit ministered to me that God is calling you into the youth ministry. So my sister, please think about <laughs> it. Ministry? I've, see, I've heard enough of ministry, I beg. I've been hearing ministry for the past few weeks now. I, 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 please, please, my career is very important. My education is very important. Mm. What will happen to these things if I pick up one call like that? Please, I'm not interested at all, I'm not. Ah. Ah. Why are you talking like this now? At least you should even be happy that God is calling you. It is a blessing now. Happy my foot. Ah. See, Mommy Gio, if we are interested in the call, you can actually <laughs> go and pick it up. As I am like this, I'm not interested and I'm not ready. Please, let it be like that, baby. Was that why you called me? That's the reason why you ah. called you. Is that my enough reason? It is no, it's not enough, ma. It Thank well. you. I appreciate the, the message. But I'm not interested. Jesus Christ! So, you hid all this from me? I'm sorry. And we are living under the same roof. C calm down. Calm, calm down. Thank I'm sorry. You, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I swear this cousin. Holy Spirit is ministering to me and confirm that you are the one that he has been talking to me about. This is just the confirmation of what Holy Spirit told me about the youth ministry in Rugby. Uh, Sister Lovett, do you still remember the last time we discussed in front of the church a few months ago about the youth ministry in Bagby village. Actually, I've been praying about it, mm -hmm. most especially on the aspect of the teenager in the church. Um, we need somebody who can handle them spiritually. But um, God has not permit me. God said the one that you want to use for that job is not ready to receive the assignment. And he's not permitting me to get another pastor, you know? Yes, but I'm still praying about it. Something will be done very soon. Ah. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> I, I don't even understand. That is why you need to understand that the privilege of being called and anointed is a great responsibility. Our acceptance to the calling means we say yes to God and fearlessly abandon anything that does not work towards his end. The Bible says, Remember your God in the days of your youth, when the evil days has not come. You know, one thing that I want you to know that the Lord is still out there looking for people to use for his work. 
you remember the story of Jonah? Who ran away from the presence of God? I know you all know the story. And the story of the man who was born blind from his mother's womb. And the disciple asked Jesus, Who did this man offend? Jesus answered, said, Neither the mother, nor the father, nor the man, but that the glory of God be manifest. You see, some situations happen in our lives just for the glory of God. You know, what actually happened to you was permitted just for the glory of God, for His own glory. So, I want to encourage you. Please, sit up, rise up, and do what God wants you to do. Brad Benedict, I want you to remember that one which is 1,000 and two which is 10,000. <laughs> oh God. Thank you, sir. In fact, you really opened our eyes to this and you have made justice to it, sir. Thank you. God bless you, sir. <laughs> Sister Lovett, you have to follow your husband to Bambi Village and start the youth ministry there. Bra Benedict. Yes, sir. So I will want both of you to separate a day, I mean, to have a day for prayer in your closet and talk to God. Commit the journey you are about to embark into God's hands for direction, for a clearer vision of the vision. Thank you so much, sir. I really appreciate this. In fact, you have shared light to everything that has been happening in our family. Thank you so much, sir. You do as you have said, sir. It is well with you. It is well, my brother. Uh, Sister Ruth, please, you've seen everything now. Try to forgive my sister. Eh? With the look of things, sir, I am forgiving her from my heart. Um, Thank you so much, Mr. Woods. That is so thoughtful of you. We no really appreciate it. No problem. Shall we pray? Uh, Heavenly Father. Yeah, um, love it. Love it. Yes, dear. I'm ready for Bible study. Ah, I'm also ready. Let's go. Uh, you are ready for what? I'm ready for Bible study. We are, we are going together now. I don't understand. What? Go together? Yes. I want to follow you. We are going together. Benedict, whenever you want to see anything about this issue, never use the word pronoun again. But that is why I don't want to marry a pastor. But obviously, you have eventually married one. You are not but serious. What is this? You are not... Wait, <laughs> you, you actually memorized everything I said that day. That's why well, your lie is dead. Now I love pronoun. And you see us to my favorite pronoun. Now you love the pronoun us. Yes. <laughs> can us go now? Ah, us can go. Can us pray. <laughs> us can pray. Ah. Father, we thank you. Thank you. Father, Jesus. we appreciate you. Thank you. Lord. Thank you for this family. Yes, Lord. Thank you for everything. Okay. We thank you because you have bestowed back peace into this family. Yes, Father, we give you all the glory. Alleluia. Father, we give you all the glory. Alleluia. Father, now we have some pray. We have accepted to do your will. Yes. We have accepted to do that which you call us to do. Yes. Father, we pray for strength. Amen. Empower us, O oh Lord. Help us to do that which you want us to do. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, provide for us. Amen. My dear. Yes. What's up? I'm not feeling very okay. Or I don't know. Oh, how, how are you feeling? Just try to explain. I've been showing up. Like today alone, I've thrown up like twice. Wow. Then I feel weak. It's always hard to, mm. to, to move around. Then I feel feverish. Three. And then there's this constant headache that will not just give me Four. peace. That's, what are you counting now? No, no, no. I, I, I just want to relate it with some things I've been watching in movies, you know. It is of two ways. Mm. It's either you think something and you feel like throwing up. Oh. Or... <laughs> oh. Can it be pregnancy? Hey, are you, uh, when did you become a doctor? See, please, pregnancy, yeah. 
You can't be pregnant you now. I'm serious. Wait, 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 wait. I think, okay, I get it now. We have to go and see the doctor. Then, you know, you have to see something better. We need to see a doctor. Oh, ah. afternoon. Ah, that is answer. Sit, sit. What an August visit. <laughs> ah, you didn't even tell me you are coming. Ah, I decided to surprise you today. <laughs> well, it's good at times. <laughs> I'm happy. How are you doing? Everything is fine, sir. All glory to God. Yes. All is well, sir. How's the ministerial field? God is helping us, sir. Everything is okay. Then what about the issue of the health at the other time? That yeah, you told and uh, bad news. Yes. Yeah, we've settled everything, sir. Everything is settled. Yes, sir. To so God be the glory. Yeah. So, how are you, uh, madam? We are fine, sir. God <laughs> <laughs> is helping us. I hope you are supporting. Ah, God has helped us. God is really helping us to support. We've been trying our best. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, Daddy. Uh, we really want to appreciate you for everything you have done for us in this family. Yes. Uh, the Lord has been so faithful to us. The Lord has restored peace back into this family. Yes. <laughs> I, can, I can see. I can see. Every, you are radiant. Everything is cool. I can see. It is I the can Lord's see. Yes, so it is marvelous in our sight. Yes, that day, we really can't thank you enough. You've yes, really been a father to us. Yes. We must confess. Thank you so much for everything. Thank you for your counsel and care. God has been faithful to us really? in that village. Mm -hmm. Very faithful. Yes. yes, and we promise never to disappoint God. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 <laughs> Thank God for the grace that yeah. God has given me. Amen. To be, to stand by your family mm. in the time of trouble. And thank God the siege is over. Amen. So God, yeah. Thank God for everything. Um, actually, Daddy, we... <laughs> <laughs> yes, actually, sir, it's a good news. Yes, oh, yes. <laughs> I can't wait to um, hear that. Say it now. <laughs> yes, yeah, sir. As she is sitting right beside me, I can see her sitting. She's pregnant. She's carrying. Your She's baby. carrying my baby. <laughs> oh, thank God. Thank God. Also, be to God. Ah, God for every God. That is the reward of faithfulness. Mm. That is the reward of obedience. More are still coming. Amen. More testimony Amen. are still coming. Amen. God is going to give you that land. Amen. And the environment. Amen. I'm proud of you people. I'm proud of you. That because actually I I do hear some, I mean some information about the your few day at uh, Bagby which I'm happy mm. by the report that I heard. So I, 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 I'm happy, you know. Uh, more are still coming. More yeah. great things you will experience more great things in your family, yeah. in your ministerial yeah. assignment yeah. in Jesus. You will go higher and higher. Remember, God has said it, that if you are obedient, you shall eat the good fruit of the land. Not just ordinary food. Not just ordinary fruit, but the good fruit. Mm. He has started. Mm. Yeah. More has to come. And Amen. we are even seeing it. Yes, <laughs> and it's marvelous in our side. <laughs> God, the glory. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Shall we pray? Yes, sir. <laughs> shall we pray?
service power is calling you, is calling you. Before I formed thee in the belly, I already knew thee. Before you came forth out of the womb, I sanctified and ordained you a prophet to the nations. Take the vision. You heard his voice Why not open up and let the King of Glory There's a movement in the Spirit There's an army rising strong God is bringing man into the fullness of his power It's calling you, it's calling you I feel the Spirit spread his wings wide I'm